we will move to the next topic that is electropositivity so here we are going to discuss what is happening to the electropositivity if you move from top to the bottom or left to, to right in periodic table before understanding what is a trend first of all we have to know what is electropositivity if we if we if you want to define it it is all about it is the ability of an atom to lose its electron and to get the positive charge so we will discuss it in detail so what is electropositivity in order to understand what is electropositivity we will consider two atoms here we have lithium and sodium why we are taking lithium and sodium because they do have difference in their size one is smaller second one is larger okay so first of all we'll consider lithium <clears throat> just consider lithium the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron or valence electron in case of lithium is smaller right because it is size of lithium is smaller but in the case of sodium the distance from the nucleus to the valence electron in sodium is higher compared to lithium it is higher because size is bigger right so my question is in which case the attractive power of nucleus on the valence electron will be higher obviously in the case of lithium why because they are smaller since size is smaller lithium's nucleus can easily attract the outermost electron of lithium but in the case of sodium sodium's nucleus will not have that much stronger attraction over the valence electron of sodium because distance is higher so my question is in which case which atom will have the tendency to lose its electron easily obviously it is sodium why because they are not having a strong attraction over valence electron since they are not having strong attraction over valence electron they will lose their electron right but in the case of lithium they will not lose their valence electron easily because they are having strong attraction between valence electron and nucleus that's our point so electropositivity can be discussed can be explained by taking the help of atomic size that's our point what is electropositivity <clears throat> electropositivity can be defined as the ability of an atom to lose its electron to other atom during the bond formation and electropositivity is mainly based on the atomic size of an atom our concern is what happens to the electropositivity if you move from left to right or along the period the electropositivity decreases why as i already told you it is bit depending upon the atomic size right when the size of atom decreases the ability of nucleus to attract the outermost electron increases so outermost electron will lose will not lose easily that means electropositivity decreases so we can conclude that along the period or from left to right electropositivity decreases so next concern is what happens to the electropositivity if you move down the group or top to the bottom down the group the size of atom increases okay that is already discussed right when the size of atom increases the ability of nucleus to attract the outermost electron decreases so outermost electron can be lose easily i hope that idea is clear so we can conclude in this way that down the group or from top to bottom the electropositivity increases <clears throat> the next topic is electronegativity <laughs> okay uh, we can see that electronegativity is little bit opposite to the electropositivity if you already thorough with electropositivity you will get an idea what this electronegativity is okay let's move to the electronegativity what is electronegativity before moving to the idea of electronegativity let me tell you one thing that we'll consider two atoms lithium and sodium again why we are taking lithium and sodium because they are having difference in their size okay so consider one electron is incoming to the lithium another electron is coming to the sodium keep that in your mind one electron is coming to the lithium 
it is not the we are not considering electron which is present inside the lithium no we are considering an electron coming to the lithium and one electron is coming to the sodium okay in which case or which atom will have the tendency to attract that electron easily that incoming electron easily okay i hope the question is clear one electron is coming to the lithium atom one electron is coming to the sodium atom in which atom in which case that atom will have the tendency to attract incoming electron okay we'll explain it in case of lithium when that electron was incoming just think about the size of lithium and sodium the size of lithium is smaller right okay so size of lithium is smaller okay so electron was incoming one electron was coming so it will attract that incoming electron easily because in the center of nucle in the center of lithium there is a nucleus which is having a positive charge electron is coming that electron is having negative charge okay so that positively charged nucleus of lithium will attract the incoming electron which is having negative charge okay but in the case of sodium when electron was coming sodium is having a nucleus which is having positive charge incoming electron is negative charge they will have in they will have a attractive force but since the size of sodium is bigger they will not able to attract that incoming electron easily because size is bigger so they will be having a big difference distance gap will be higher in the case of sodium so one thing is clear one thing is clear that when an electron is incoming during a chemical bond when the atomic size is smaller it can attract that electron easily if the atomic size is bigger it will be a little bit difficult to attract that electron easily keep one thing in your mind it is not the attraction between the nucleus of an atom and the electron of its own atom no it is the attract attraction between the nucleus of an atom and the electron of another atom during chemical bonding just look at the picture given below atom a is there atom b is there so in this case the electron of at electron of atom a is pulled by attracted by atom b nucleus of atom b it is given over there so this is the definition of electronegativity electronegativity of an element can be defined as the relative ability of an atom to attract the shared pair of electron when i when when i say shared pair don't get confused think about that incoming electron from a covalent bond during the bond formation so electronegativity is mainly based on the atomic size of an atom we have already discussed that i hope that concept is clear our concern is what happens to the electronegativity if you move from left to right or along the period okay so along the period electro at size of atom is getting decreased when the size of atom is getting decreased electronegativity increases we have already discussed that so what we can conclude look at the picture and what we can conclude along the period or from left to right electronegativity increases so next question is what happens to the electronegativity if you move from top to the bottom or down the group look at the picture lithium sodium potassium down the group the size of atom is getting increased why because shells are getting added so down the group size of atom increases when the size of atom increases we have already discussed what happens to electronegativity electronegativity decreases down the group or from top to the bottom electronegativity decreases there can be the there will be the conclusion